Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you one of uh, C.S. Joseph's social engineering techniques that he actually uses to social engineer audiences into believing he's got more authority and credibility than he really does. And when I say social engineering, what I mean is dishonesty. Um, a bit of a nuanced form. It's lying without literally telling a falsehood. It's still deceitful. It's still intentionally misleading. It's just scaled up from kindergarten level lying to like third grade level lying. So we're gonna look at a clip. And before we do that, I want to, uh, I want to point out the two theories he's gonna be talking about. He's gonna be comparing two theories. And the first one is the theory of the anima and animus presented by Carl Jung. The other one is his own theory um, that changes the anima animus theory to conform to his four sides of the mind theory. So let's take a look if you guys uh, remember earlier within season 17 uh, we had uh, a particular situation where I was presenting a, a different theory or a different argument uh, you know about gender basically uh, you know versus like what I believe it is versus what my mentors believe this is something that he does a lot to expand um, what he's talking about so that it's bigger than just him and now includes his mentors uh it just expands the topic so that the audience feels like this is a bigger thing going on this is a discussion that they just weren't privy to when in reality it's him stating his opinion um and uh we were talking about how you know, the anima and animus has like an opposing uh, gender, basically. Uh, so like, for example, your subconscious would be the opposite gender to what you are, right? And then there is uh, the other theory, the other competing theory, which is no, each of the individual types within the mind have their own established gender, which would make the traditional anima animus uh, theory basically null and void. And that's, uh, so I am more a part of the new line of thinking, whereas my mentors are actually on the older line of thinking. They actually agree that the anima animus is what it is, uh, as a, a, according to inverse theory, that um, it is quite frankly just, hey, you know, it's the opposite gender of what your ego is. But I don't think that's necessarily the case. I think uh, each of the individual uh, personality types actually have their own internal gender. Uh, there is no other competing theory with Young's. Not in that sense. There's no actual comp competition. These aren't two theories duking it out. It's not got polarized camps. It's not creationism versus evolution. It's Carl Jung versus the stuff C.S. Joseph just made up. I've pointed out before to C.S. Joseph in context of, of his maneuvering his personal theories in um, as sort of Trojan horses under somebody else's name that the sort of innovation is a good thing. Innovation is good. People should be creating new things and pushing boundaries, whatever. But what they shouldn't be doing is sneaking it in, is mislabeling it, and sneaking it in as something it's not. This is not a competing theory. Jung's not being challenged in any sense at all. You can Google Jung. You can find tons of stuff about his theory. Search Google for competing theories. Search Google for four sides of the mind. C.S. Joseph. There's just not competition.
if a theory is good, it should be able to stand on its own validity. It shouldn't need to lie and ride on the coattails of people that it has no no place hitching a ride with. If you have to lie to get it accepted, it speaks that speaks to its validity. But wait, there's more. He then goes on to null and void. Um, Young, which is preposterous. <laughs> and then describes Young's theory in this, you know, subtle but sort of demeaning and belittling way. And then segues into his competing theory. He's in the new thought camp or whatever, however. You know, it's just it's just very it's a crafted presentation that is meant to sell a uh, a belief in the audience. It's not it's not communicating the reality. It's selling you an attitude. And that is social manipulation. That is bullshit. You know this video wouldn't be complete if I didn't address his shirt, though. Bro, what the fuck? You are gay. You are a transgender. What, 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 what shows that I'm gay? You are a transgender, yes, and you're a gay rights activist and an outspoken um, uh, uh, lesbian, homosexual. How can I describe you? These are some of the things they use. I want to give you evidence. You see, Pastor, aren't you being too harsh to uh, these uh, people? No, 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 why, no, no, no. Why, no, no, for once, so can't, 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 you, can't you relax can't you and then think about the pain they go through as can't society so, ostracizes them? So, can't so, can't watch do they don't have the equipment to be a man. So what do they do? To be able to try and penetrate the other person, they use carrots because it's a carrot. Watch it up. Because it's a matoke. I think you're being a little Ah, uh, No, 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 no. Mm. Because it's a bogoya. Because when you use something like this and you put it inside you, you rip your urinary tract areas. When they put it inside, they're behind. Mm. But this is a disorder, right? It, uh -huh. If it's a disorder, yes. do you feel you're handling it the right way? Uh, this gentleman is no, a transgender. No, she's a female. There are no two. It is either male or female. This is a man's genital. And you insert them into <clears throat> and the, the, the intestine. Okay, they put their genitals into the excretory system. This excretory system is not designed to receive. It is only for exit. That is for men. For women, what they do is they begin one their sexual acts because she does not have the equipment eh? they begin to use their lips so the mouth is used to lick the other person that's number one it created orogonoria many lesbians have orogonorias orosyphilis number two because they don't have the equipment they begin to use gadgets like bananas they use carrots they use bananas they use cucumbers and other metalized ones and they put them inside themselves because they are not normal